Hi everyone, this is Lauren with the Kennebecasis Watershed Restoration Committee. Spring has finally sprung and with the nice weather that means that we're all wanting to get outside and explore nature and that's awesome and we, um, we at the KWRC we really want to encourage people to do that. However, we want to make sure that we are treating our natural spaces with respect and so today's video is all about low impact walking and low impact activities that you can do in the watershed. In the context of outdoor recreation, low impact refers to activities that affect or alter the environment as little as possible. Now that the nicer weather is here, we really want to encourage everyone to get outside and spend some time in nature. However, we also want to encourage you to do this in a low impact way. So when I say low impact, I just mean in a way that is respectful and responsible to the environment and to our beautiful natural spaces that we have in the watershed. There are countless low impact activities that you can do in the watershed. These are just a few. Now let's look at some tips to keep your walks or hikes low impact when you are hitting the trails this spring. It's always important to stay on the trail when you are hiking or going for a nature walk. Staying on the trail keeps you safe and keeps our wildlife safe from human impacts. Hold on to garbage and clean up after yourself. It's always a good idea to bring snacks with you when going on a nature walk. However, make sure you keep any food wrappers, water bottles, or other garbage with you until you can throw it in a garbage bin. Leaving garbage along our trails not only degrades the quality for future hikers, but it can cause problems for wildlife. It's also important to clean up after your four-legged hiking companions as well. Nobody wants to see this on the trail. Use designated trash bins for your garbage. Keep the trails clean for everyone. Don't remove anything from the environment. Be respectful of our environment and leave the souvenirs behind. A good rule to go by is to take nothing but pictures and leave nothing but footprints. Only take breaks, make fires, or camp in designated areas. This helps minimize your impact on the surrounding wildlife. If you are on a wilderness trail with no designated resting spots, try to find a place where you can cause the least amount of disturbance, and make sure to leave the spot just as you found it. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Watershed Walk. A big thank you goes out to our partners who help make the work we do at the KWRC possible. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media for updates on all of our projects. We'll see you next time.